Hey, church, today we're going to introduce you to Pastor Joel Daly. He's our lead pastor out at the West Haven campus. He's our youngest pastor on staff, so I can't wait for you to hear his story. Tracy and I met him 21 years ago when we first moved to Utah from Chicago. He was just eight years old. Now he's 29, which is the age I was when we started Alpine 19 years ago. His story is awesome. I think it's really going to speak to young people and to parents out there. So here's Joel Daly. Well, hey, my name is Joel Daly. I am the lead pastor at the West Haven campus, and I've been at Alpine for almost 20 years well, almost 19 years now. And I started coming when I was in youth group. And, and honestly, my, my testimony is pretty boring. It's pretty bland. Um, there wasn't, you know, I wasn't in, in and out of prison or anything like that when I was younger. Um, but, you know, I, from a young age, accepted Christ. And I had really great parents who uh, really did a great job of building me up and encouraging me in my relationship with God and, and keeping us plugged in at church. And um, I, I think really my life has been marked by positive mentors and people pouring into my life. I don't think that I would have stayed that course had people not come into my life and really poured into me. And um, that started at a very young age with my with my children's church pastor. Um, he really uh, just did a really good job of, of impacting me positively for Jesus. And then when we actually came to Alpine, I was connected with uh, Pastor Chris Duran, who is a teaching pastor now, but who was the youth pastor at the time. And he just really, uh, through those formidable years of my teenager, you know, where there's so many opportunities to make mistakes, he just really poured into me and uh, modeled what it meant to be uh, a Christian and also helped me work through things as a teenager that um, I probably wouldn't have gotten through had he not been there with me. And then after that, um, I kind of wanted to get out of Utah after I graduated high school, but um, long story short, God kept me here. And one of the reasons why I think he kept me here was to get me involved in Alpine uh, even more when I was in college. And I distinctly remember having a meeting with uh, Steve Bennettson up at the Weber State campus and him just telling me that, hey, Joel, I think that you have potential for uh, ministry and and um, encouraging me in my giftings and everything like that. And so I ultimately ended up starting uh, to intern with Alpine. And at that point, uh, you know, the, the path to where I am today was kind of defined, but I just want to go back to, uh, you know, the importance of if those people hadn't come into my life when they did and taken the time, been intentional to pour into me and mentor me and disciple me, uh, I don't, I don't think I'd be where I am today. And that's not a cliche. That's, that's just the truth. And so I just want to encourage, you know, young people look for people in your life who can pour into you. Uh, who can give you wisdom, who, who you'll listen to. Uh, maybe that's your parents, maybe that's someone else your parents can partner with. And, and also just if you have young people in your life, if you're a parent or even maybe just a leader, uh, look for people who you can pour into because you just never know what the fruit of it can be in the long term.